It's a happy week for the criminals who now controls 10 million PCs that we know of. <laughs> we don't know how many that they don't need their control yet, but we think about 10 million. I bet you it's more than that. Now it's a great week, happy week for them all. Now they've gathered 10 million powerful PCs to be used for their criminal intent. What could that be? Depending on which criminal from where. It could be for phishing, it could be for spamming, it could be for attacking sites, it could be for spreading those viruses even further. It could be for any number of criminal intent that we know of or even new criminal intent that these people are going to come up with. As soon as we're hit, then you get flurry of experts who are saying, stop using this port, stop using this browser, stop using this, stop using that. It is not about stopping, it's about enabling. The reason why we have PCs is because we want to be enabled. The reason why we have internet is because we want to be enabled. It is not about stop this, stop that in order to be secure. Security should not be inconvenience. Security should be enablement. So when people say, hey, stop using this port or stop using this browser, is not the right answer. It doesn't help anyone. What we should be doing instead of stopping is enabling ourselves with the right armament, right weapons, right tools to protect ourselves. People ask me, hey, we've got lots of very credible companies providing security. Is it good enough that we use that today? I ask you back, if it was good enough, why were you infected? It's not stopping the ale of malware. It is not stopping us from getting infected. We need a paradigm shift. A paradigm shift the way that we protect ourselves. We no longer fight the wars in trenches. We have fighter jets. We have different weapons to fight the e evil. Yet in PCs, in internet, we still use a 25-year-old technology to protect ourselves. Time for a paradigm shift and that paradigm shift is about preventing malware coming into your PC in the first place. It is not about letting it all in and then say, hey, are you good or are you bad? It's about preventing it in the first place. Prevention as your first line of defense. You've just heard the thoughts of Meli Abdulhayolu. If Meli has provoked you on issues like security and trust on the internet, authentication, and malware prevention, please visit www.meli.com for more.